Hi again, it's Tim, your Living Sky Guy from the Paris of the Prairies, beautiful Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And today's five minute Photoshop is all about editing the Milky Way using Lightroom and Photoshop. So I've only got five minutes, so let's get started. With your raw file opened in Lightroom, let's start with adjusting the exposure to slightly lighten up the overall look of the sky. Next, we're going to scroll down to Color Noise Reduction and increase that just a bit to your taste. It's a subtle difference that we're looking for here. Scroll back up to White Balance and adjust the color temperature to the most natural look that you can achieve at this point in the color of the sky. This is where personal taste comes into play. I try to stick around 3800 degrees Kelvin. This is still a rough adjustment. We will be fine tuning this in Photoshop. And at this point, we are now done with Lightroom and we're ready to export to Photoshop and complete the next steps. In Photoshop, we're gonna make three adjustments, levels, curves, and sharpness. Create a level adjustment layer and click on the red layer first. Adjust the midtone until you get a slight bluish tint to your image. Next, adjust the green layer midtone until you have a slight magenta tint. Then go to the blue layer midtone for a slight yellow tint. Now revisit all of the three layers to fine tune that midtone adjustment until you get the look of color of sky and stars that you're comfortable with. Lastly, go to the RGB combined layer and adjust the highlight slider on the right to increase the contrast between the stars and the sky. Now let's create a curves adjustment layer. I'm zooming in a little tighter in the Milky Way to better control the next steps. Click on the finger icon in curves adjustment and then hover your cursor over the darkest area on the Milky Way dust lane you can find. Then click the mouse once. Now hover over the brightest area on the Milky Way and click once again. You will now have two points on your curve adjustment and we're going to create an S curve between those two points to increase even more the definition of the Milky Way against the sky. This is definitely where personal taste takes over, but please resist the urge to push too far unless you're really looking for a truly out of this world look. Sharpening is our last step. This will help us to really enhance the look of our Milky Way. First, create a stamp visible layer. Now go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And at Unsharp Mask, set the radius to about 90 pixels and the amount to about 60%, then click OK. Now this is applying that unsharp mask to the entire image, but we only want it to apply it to the Milky Way. So add a layer mask. Select your paintbrush, make sure that the color is white, and now click and paint over the Milky Way and only the Milky Way. And this will apply our sharpening just to that area. When you're done, to soften that effect, make it look a little more natural, adjust the opacity of that layer to taste. And I usually go to about 75%. And the last thing I do is add a Gaussian layer to the image to slightly add more realism to the work I've done. And I usually set that blur to about 150 pixels. After all this, the rest is just saving your work and enjoying your masterpiece. And as you can see, a few steps in Lightroom and Photoshop will greatly change and enhance the final look of your image and give you something you will be proud to print, hang, and share. Until next time, friends, clear skies.